afternoon or evening, whatever time of it is you're watching this. Welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Riley White and I'm a third grade reading and ELA teacher. And that's Denver. I thought it would be kind of fun to do a little bit of vlogging because there's not a ton of stuff I can do related to the classroom until we hear more about how our school year is going to go and until our school is back open to get inside our classrooms. Right now they're doing the cleaning and everything. So in the meantime, I thought I would start with a little vlog and I actually got a request to talk about how I bundled standards and how I organized that and then use my happy planner to implement the plans. And so I do plan on showing you guys that too. Let's go up to my desk upstairs and we'll get started on that. He has to come everywhere with me. So before I get into the specifics of how I plan and organize my standards, I thought I would tell you how our school plans are at least third grade. So in third grade, we have two teams. Each team has two teachers. So there's a total of four third grade teachers. Now, two teachers are on each team. So for instance, I teach reading, writing, and ELA, and my team teacher teaches math, science, and social studies. Halfway through the day, we switch classes. So we have the same students. And then we teach the subject that the other didn't. But I also have what's called a vertical team within third grade, and that is when the two reading teachers will plan together and the two math, science, social studies plan together. So I plan with one teacher and then actually team teach with another teacher, if that makes sense. So let's hop into the actual planning now. The first thing we do is take a look at all of our standards. This is a standard cheat sheet off TPT, and I'm not sure if they have it for all content areas, but I'll link her below so you guys can check it out. From these, we look at everything we're required to teach this year, and then we pick about eight essential standards. The essential standards are like the big standards that we want the students to really master and know like the back of their hand. For each of the essential standards, we also make a series of target goals. These are small goals that the students need to meet in order to be able to achieve the big goal, which is the standard itself. After we chose our essential standards, we went back to our grade 3 standard sheets and we decided to come at it with three different highlighter colors. One represents essential standards, one color represents whole group instruction, and one color represents small group or guided reading instruction. And we basically decided where we were going to cover each of the standards. Once we decided where each standard was going to be covered, we came over and created a standard bundle document. And this was super easy to just look at the color-coded list and decide, okay, what essential standard, writing standard, and guided standard could all go together and be as seamless as possible. There are often times where you can bundle multiple standards even in one category. So for example, where I'm tapping on the screen right now, I decided to bundle reading informational and reading literature because it's essentially the same standard with two different kinds of text. So those were super easy to bundle within the reading block. And for the writing block, we decided to do informational writing. One, because this year I actually noticed our students struggled less with informational than narratives. And two, we really wanted to do narratives with the character trait unit. So that's our plan for next year. I also want to put out the disclaimer that these are not our plans. These are just examples of how we plan and the steps we took in our planning. So I'm sure that there are bundles that make more sense. And like I said, I've just was picking and choosing some that made sense for the sake of a video. This is by no means what we actually have planned for next year. Just wanted to preface that. Now when you're bundling, just wanted to remind you that it's no particular order. It's not until you get onto your curriculum pacing map that you actually start to look at the actual order you want to teach things. And so we created this document where we have the month and then there are some spaces beneath the month where you write like the individual dates of the week that we have. And then we just kind of literally map out what we want to be doing. Now it's not set in stone. This is simply just a guide to kind of keep us on the right track to get where we need to be by the end of the year. 
you know, life happens. Sometimes standards, you just blaze right through faster than you anticipated. And sometimes you spend a lot longer on them than you anticipated. So it is a rough guide. And the last thing we do is take the unit and break it down into day-by-day -day lesson plans. We do this on a 15-day guide. Um, not everyone is 15 days. That's just what we call it because it's an average. When it comes time to actually plan in your planner, it's as easy as copying things down. I don't really like to put much on my monthly spreads because I like to leave those for like appointments or theme days or breaks and stuff like that. But sometimes I will do what I'm doing here where I just kind of map out the days that a unit will take. And when the other reading teacher and I meet for our vertical planning, which we like to try to do at least once a week, it's as easy as taking that 15-day guide and the curriculum pacing map and just kind of filling in your lessons accordingly. It's also worth mentioning that we do discuss this, obviously, and just because it's on our 15-day plan doesn't mean that that's what we're going to teach. Sometimes we have spur-of-the-moment ideas and we switch things and change things a little bit, but this system has made it where we can plan more effectively and actually get a good amount of planning done in our planning block, so that's always good. And this may not be the best way to plan. This is just what works for us. Um, if you have any amazing ideas, please leave them in the comments because I'm always looking for ways to grow. Also, if you like anything that I used, I will also link blank templates in the description below. And that is how I go from a long list of standards to individual daily lessons. And Jessica, the viewer who requested this, I really hope I was able to give you what you were looking for. Also, Michaels is having a really good sale right now. I actually went a day or two ago and recorded some of it for you, but I didn't think it was like enough to have its own video. So I'm gonna put that footage here. Okay, so I don't have any kind of tripod or anything. I just propped this up in my car. I wasn't planning on filming or anything, but when life gives you good deals, you gotta share it with the people, you know what I'm saying? He's probably not gonna love that I spent money again. However, I'm willing to risk it. So I'm gonna show you what I got. Michael's is having their huge sale. Well, it's, you know, certain items are like up to 70% off. And I noticed that all of the outdoor toys are on sale because like end of the season deal. So I got a bat that comes with a little styrofoam ball because third grade boys cannot be trusted to have actual baseball equipment on the playground. My students, I have like a recess basket and my students loved kickballs and they're on sale for like $2.50. All this is 50% off right now, the outdoor stuff. So I got two of those. And since my recess basket did so good last year, I wanted to add more to it this year. So I replaced what I got last year, which was several kickballs and a baseball bat and softball. Soft ball, not softball, they're different. I went ahead and added badminton this year. And one of those little tennis ball Velcro catch games, I guess. It was pretty cheap, so I thought I'd add it. Why not? And that is all for the recess basket. I got all of that for All of that for $11.78 because I did use my teacher discount on top of that. And then I was done. $11. That's awesome. Like, he's not going to bat an eye at that. Way to go me, right? Wrong. By no fault of my own, I ended up at Marshall's. Yeah, so make sure you go check out that sale if you are interested in any of those things. Okay, well, the rest of my day is looking pretty boring. I'm going to work out and have some lunch, so nothing too exciting that I think you were just missing out on if I closed the vlog here. With that being said, if you enjoyed today's video and want to see more vlogs like this, please give it a thumbs up. Also, don't forget to subscribe because it really supports my channel. Thanks again for tuning in today, and I hope to see you in the next one. Bye!